been a long day. Is the topic uh, fuckery? In the topic, it's total fuckery. All right. And Chinese cotton. Yay, Chinese cotton. Oh, yeah. Huge giveaway. Massive amounts of Chinese cotton. I hope you're ready for it. Hey, but does yours is yours a knockoff of cotton bacon? Because mine is. Oh, uh, that's awesome. I got a whole case of it. So I we're going to give have, it a ton away. Can I, I actually the have some fucking uh, shadow sun from uh, Hawaii that the Plumes of Hazard guys sent me. Well, this shit is manufactured in Xinjiang. I don't know how to actually pronounce that. I think that's pretty close. But it's actually, the company is based in Shenzhen, so... Um, it's probably made out of smog, is my is my opinion of this product. <laughs> I literally have not used it. This is the first time I'm ever using it. It's in this helix coil that I built for tonight's showcase. So, Ooh, Travis, that's, that shit's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be so good, bro. It is really good. You're crazy. Did you get some good? I, I shit you not, that stuff is good. The Angor Rabbit is bomb, huh? Okay, I'm about to find out. I think it it's is. just I think it's just regular cotton to be totally honest with you guys. It it looks like regular cotton that's been like they tried to make it like cotton bacon, like in long strips, and it mm -hmm. just kinda of falls apart a little bit. But I'm sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> oh, well I'm sorry, but I'm about to find out. <laughs> it's not about you. That shit is about you. And he will tell you his opinion if you like it or not. That's it. That shit is fire. Chinese cotton fire. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. Uh, it's, I mean, I'm gonna keep it wet enough. Actually, it doesn't catch on fire. That's it's, a good thing. It's about fireproof. It. it is fireproof. And they did that all non-chemically, I, I suppose. Well, it's made from Angora rabbits. <laughs> 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 What's up, everybody? This is Travis from Overdose Vapes. Uh, I think it started. I think we're started mm -hmm. two minutes yeah. after I pushed the button. Um, so yeah, I'm Travis, and I got a bunch of people here with me. I have uh, Paul Hessian. We got Vaping with Nikki B, Yeti's Uncle, Life of Vapes, and Gizzard Stew. I'll let you guys all talk about your channels and stuff at the end. Um, especially Gizzard, we got we got him. Me. <laughs> we, got, it. we got him on his way. I like it. Never fails. You used to have a, a physical bell, though. I'm a little disappointed. Shit. He's got it set for electric chair mode. Electric yeah. There we go. Okay, so um, so what we're doing tonight, um, I have a couple of announcements I want to announce right at the beginning of the show, and then um, what we're we're gonna look at some helix coils, and we're just gonna have some chit chat. We got a lot of people on the show, and so that usually makes for a lot of good conversation. So we're just gonna let it flow. Um, the one thing that I wanted to um, to talk about, we got two yetis in the in the room. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, is that uh, is that uh, unfortunately um. Here in Ukiah, where I live, um, the vape scene has suffered a, a giant loss. Is that um, the guy who runs uh, our local vape store, building e cig? His name is Troy. He died um, at the age of 45. Um, so uh, it, it's a pretty big blow for our local community here. Um, he was he was in the vape he was in the overdose vapes group. So if you're a part of that, you probably have come across him at some point. Um, if you don't, know Shane uh, from the from the overdose vapes uh, group, he works for Troy. And so, um, Holy at, at crap, the really? yeah, so Shane or Troy owned that store that Shane works at. So, um, the, the, the plan is they're going to keep it running. Um, Shane is going to be the general manager of the store. And, um, it's so important because, uh, it's the only vape store within an hour. I mean, it's, it is all we have. And so, um, it's that store has single handedly saved hundreds and hundreds of lives because it, it hooks people up who, who don't know anything about vaping. They can walk in there and have a knowledgeable staff um, give, you know, hook them up in, into vaping. So, um, you know. What uh, happened? What happened to Troy? That's horrible. Yeah, uh, I don't really know yet. Um, the family hasn't really said yet. Um, uh, I, I, I hate to even speculate. You know, he was a really young guy. He was 45 years old. Um, and not, not on top of that, he was in amazing shape. The guy was a bodybuilder and mm -hmm. um, he was a weightlifter. And so, the, you know, um, he was stacked. I mean, the guy was immaculate. So I, I don't know. It's it was heartbreaking, and um, when I first heard about, heard about it, it was um, it just took me by surprise. It was literally like the last person on earth I expected to lose. You know, um, and so you know, it's it is it's pretty fucked up. And um, 
So we're all going to try to pitch in to make sure that the shop stays, stays open because it's really important. And, um, you know, we did a show one time of uh, why is it important to support your local brick and mortar. And I was kind of like a, almost callous in the sense that I was like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know, like you can get everything online. But then after, you know, this has happened, it really makes me understand now why it is important because um, so many people have said, have, re have reached out and said, you know, I would have never started vaping if it wasn't for that shot. And um, so it's just, you know, when, you, when, it, when you're on the brink of losing something and when you have lost something, you really start to understand how important they really are. And um, so, you know, uh, important lesson learned, important man lost. Um, we're all trying to uh, deal with it. So, but, um, you know, it is, uh, it is what, what, what it is and we have to, to keep going. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, I remember lots of lots of online conversations with Troy and a couple of phone calls back and forth between myself and him and Squirrely. And uh, straight up, straight up good dude. Very, very good friend of the channel. And he definitely, he will be missed, like, big time. We filmed episodes in there, you know what I mean, um, in, the, in the store before. And um, he even offered, like, we, we, he had, like, a stock room. And he offered us that stock room as our, um, so we could like film like as in a studio. It just didn't, it was, wasn't big enough, you know what I mean? But like, that's how, that's how this guy was. If he had something and like, he's like, Shane, clean that out so these guys can use it. You know, like, that's how great he was, you know? And, um, and even though we didn't end up using it, it's just the, the thought that counts. Like this guy, you know, didn't have to do that at all, you know? And, and I don't want to like make any false representations. It's like, not me and Troy, we're not like super close, you know what I mean? But like, when you're in a small community, of yeah. uh, vapors, you're all close, you know, because you're all you're all in this like together. So you know, and then uh, but today, <laughs> it's you know like that happens, and you know that's that's shocking. And then I have this show tonight, and then uh, my dad uh, reminded me um, like yesterday. He's like, "So we're going to the to the races tomorrow, right?" And I'm like, "What races?" And he's like the NASCAR races in Sonoma, so I had to actually go to Sonoma today, and um, I got sunburnt like crazy. You can't see it on camera, but I am like a lobster, and um, and it was just like the last thing I wanted to do. But um, you know, my dad and me, you know, you know how it is with your dad. You want to spend some time, and um, especially when they start getting older. You know, I just been thinking a lot about mortality and shit. I don't want to like bring the whole fucking <laughs> the whole thing down, but yeah, you know, I'll start thinking yeah. about mortality and shit. And then you know, you want to you want to spend more time with your family. So I didn't want to back out of that, and I got here right at the last second. And then we had some technical problems, but we made it. Yep, we are here. All right. So, um, is anybody? I mean, can we hear everybody? <laughs> I hope so. Because <laughs> we're we're really far into it right now. So what's going on, everybody? So much, man. Doing good. Same old, same old. Well, I'm glad I invited you guys on since you're fucking such talkative <laughs> fucking uh, <laughs> people. What's everybody been vaping on this week? Uh, I have been vaping on some coconut and cream. Ooh, that sounds good, actually, right now. It's by SRF. The Surf? Surf? Surf. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Surf. Yeah. Fucking that stuff's awesome. That stuff's not bad, mm -hmm. yeah. That is good. Shit. I actually like all of theirs. Uh, I like the raspberry tea one yep. that they have as well, and the uh, what was the other one? Teas are tough too. Teas are not an yeah, easy. It, fucking it was. It was not too bad. Yeah, and if you don't yeah. like the tea, you're not gonna like the tea vape. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, and okay. the papaya, mango, and cantaloupe one is that really one good. is really good. I yeah. had that as well. Cantaloupe uh, also very hard. I don't know. Oh yeah. Very. Yeah, it's either way too much cantaloupe. <laughs> I've had some cantaloupes that straight up made me want to—I don't want to say made me want to barf, but made me feel, <laughs> but made me feel barfy, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just some of those flavors. Some flavors, <laughs> some flavors it, it, don't it, work, man. It doesn't have too much like sugary in it, and that's what I like about it is because it doesn't gunk up the coils. Me yeah. and me and Brandon uh, Focal from the chat are vaping the same thing. Which is uh, the overdose vapes house liquid white girl? Still a couple bottles of that to sell if anybody wants to buy it. White girl, white girl, in a black, in a black bottle, in a black, in a black bottle. bottle. Damn right. <laughs> I picked uh, up this yesterday. Ooh. Nice. And Whoop. yesterday I rewicked, and yep. 
Oh yeah. Jam Monster uh, likes to fuck with coils. It's all right. <laughs> you, know, it's plenty, you kind of expect of it. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. a good sweet vape, so it's jam. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my buddy, uh, my buddy Alex is actually the proprietor of Jam Monster. He's also the proprietor of Donut Dude. Dude. Never had Donut Dude before? Oh, does my God. One, does he have one called Sweet? No. Nah, but he does, um, I think he does, like, the, the burst e-liquids as well, like the straw burst and all that stuff. And then he also has, um, the, uh, ACK e-liquids, which are all the, um, lighthouse, uh, they're named after all the lighthouses and everything like that on, uh, in Massachusetts, so nice. ah. lame. Good stuff. It's really good stuff. Fucking Massachusetts. And then, so I've been doing Donut Dude for today, as well as the new one, Brewberry from Barn Brew. And if you guys can actually see, proceeds go to Vapor Vet. One hundred percent. Every sale of any of their seasonal flavors uh, goes directly to Vapor Vet. Uh, they make no money on these bottles whatsoever. Um, That's awesome. And the flavor profile is basically Berry Obsessed from Vape Girl Vixens minus the uh, the cereal note to it. Can I stop you for so a second? It's just all berries. Yeah. You should have uh, changed your shirt. You're, yeah, I you're right. Shirt. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Nobody wants to see those fucking old guns. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> hey, Yeti, where's, was it you? Who, who's on the, oh, no, Lifa. What? You knew th which bottles actually fit the the drone, the Lost Vape drone the bottles, mm -hmm. the, so the super soft, squeezy you, ones. You can put pretty much any bottles into that drone, but they, they The have, ones that it comes with are a little harder to stiff. push. Yeah, stiff. they're stiff. These are good. Um, these are the, the Mod Maker ones. Mm -hmm. um, those are good. As Adam P wanted to know. Okay. Well, uh, if you want to email me, leapofvapes at gmail.com, I'll send you a link to where I bought them from. So, um, there was something. Okay, I, I had a question. It's for Paul specifically, and it's not. It's not. Uh, I'm not going to make fun of you this time. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is vape event? I don't. I have no. I literally have no You've idea. Never heard of vape event? Never. Oh, never awesome. Heard of so VapeVet is a program that uh, basically gives veterans uh, starter kits, e-liquids, uh, coils, everything that they need when they come back from overseas to get themselves leading that healthier lifestyle. So anything, anything, starter kits, they have some advanced kits that they give out to the guys that have already been vaping that want to move up from you know, like the uh, the ego pens and everything like that. They mainly, um, it's all 100% uh, donations, 100%. Um, you know, Isig Barn donates money uh, via the bottle juice sales, but they also uh, ship out the seasonal flavors to Vapavet as well to give inside the care packages uh, to these veterans that, you know, want to switch over to vaping. So we could so. directly donate stuff stuff directly to vapor vet yep okay Good. uh re reach out to them uh they are a full-on charity organization and they are a fantastic company absolutely fantastic okay i just wanted to know i never heard of it before so yeah i'm glad, I'm glad to know. I'll, I'll get i'll get you all the uh the contact info okay. is that like vapavet.org yes excellent Excellent. I like the I, I like the idea. That's for sure. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, no, it's it's awesome. What are you guys awesome. wiggling at me for? Oh, you're saying hello to everybody. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. I get it now. <laughs> you got to pay attention to two different screens. I can't do that. I'm dumb. Um. So, <laughs> how about you, Yeti? What have you been vaping on? <clears throat> um, Strawberry submission. No, well, yeah, I, I had, I, I had to had to wean off of it. So yeah, now I'm back to, back to strawberry submission. I was vaping the, uh, the new from a door. So I had to, I had to back off because I'm out. <laughs> I saw a good, I saw a good post on, uh, on Instagram though. It made it look like it was closed. So. Uh, no. They've been saying it's closed for a week. Yeah. 
But they say a week to me. That's that's soon. You know. Yeah. So hopefully it will be any day. Yeah, any day. I think so. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Yeah, hi, ready. hi, Gizzard guy. And also, Ash, did you know that the BRB e liquids also sponsor VapoVet? Yes. So those are a real. That's a real good because any bottle of juice that you buy, they actually. The proceeds and stuff like that go to, go to it as well, right? Yeah, there's a lot of companies that are uh, that are involved with the vape of that program, mm -hmm. and uh, Esig Barn specifically reached out, and um, you know we sponsor, uh, you know, uh, I think it's we're doing quarterly flavors right now, but mm -hmm. I think we are going to actually start doing a monthly. Uh, vapor vet flavor and it's going to be ultimately you know I, it's going to be one of their seasonal flavors that they only release once in a while um, but I think that to, to keep everybody's palates from getting bored of the same juice if they want to you know donate uh, we're going to do it monthly so that's cool I like organizations like that that actually help out oh, yeah. I like them I like the organizations you can actually send physical products too as well and not just mm -hmm. money yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah right. you can ultimately buy a bunch of uh you know those starter kits and uh that you guys are all about those buffaloes or whatever they are and boulders, send them boulders, <laughs> boulders, <laughs> boulders <laughs> buffaloes i don't know <laughs> yeah the boulders and send those send those to them and they'll get them to them as well i've been vaping yeah. something really good this week What's that? the 454 big block on <laughs> <laughs> my stack it works great. on your what must yeah. be nice <laughs> I, I, hope you, I hope you put your quad helix build in there i did not no i put just a regular <laughs> basic bitch build dual coils not quad and i put them vertical and it when i wrapped the cotton all the way around it worked really well it's working good it shoots the fucking vapor out like a fucking uh, lightsaber i like it it tickles my pickle. Sorry, Oops. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted—I I was just thinking about it, so I wanted to say something. <laughs> okay, who else has been vaping? Giz, you been vaping this week? I've been vaping on that. Is it my turn to That's do good. my buffet? Do your buffet. Um, what am I vaping on tonight? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, I. <laughs> Vaping on the Boss Mod by Vapor's Cloud with uh, Reload RDA version 2. And I put a uh, um, series build in here. And I'm vaping on Killer Custard from Vaptasia. And then I'm also vaping on Dis1 in this little setup here, which is um, Therion. Therion with uh, Natalie. Beautiful. And I'm also vaping on uh, the Trishal RDA oh, like with it. a stainless steel goon. Mm. And yeah. inside there, I'm vaping on a little something something. Uh -huh. Beautiful. And I am also vaping on uh, the Mo's RDA. And I forget the name of this thing. It's a smock something or other. G Priv. Uh, G Priv, yeah. G Priv before it was a G Priv. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't the G Priv have a window on it? Anyway, that's H Priv, um, isn't it? The Mozart yeah, here. And inside there, I'm vaping on a little North End Nottery. Ooh, I've never heard of that. Which is really good. It's a, a salted caramel pretzel. Ooh, that sounds mm. bomb. So, it's a pretty good buffet. It is a good buffet. You always impress me with your buffets, so you never let me down. That's what I'm expecting from everybody, except for Yeti, because I don't expect that from Yeti. <laughs> He's a simple man with a simple palate. I appreciate that. Look at that buffet. Shit, never mind. I'm fucking wrong. You never got a chance to say what you were vaping on, so. Life he never got to finish his. Fucking Nikki never got to finish hers. Oh, I'm always vaping on a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Vapor lick. Uh... My vape yeah. bar, uh, sim simply fruit. Simply fruit. And a dory liquid. Casadaga. I like that. It's and good. Squawker. Iron Smith. US One. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> um, Death Wish. Oh yeah. 
and triple X. Fuck yes, son. And scissors. Vape it on, scissors. Vape it on scissors. Excellent. Yeah, I, actually, I know when you just want to end it all. I actually have scissors right? too. <laughs> if you don't have scissors close eat. by, I don't know. Yeah. Keep your fiskers handy. You really got to have Fiskers in Mendocino County. You know what's funny is they have billboards during harvest season uh, for Fiskers and for turkey bags that are on the highway. <laughs> I shit you not. I'm not even joking. For turkey bags and for Fiskers. Scissors. Those are a trip. Those are some kind of uh, fancy crafting Parent scissors. scissors. <laughs> well, actually, they are, the, but they are the best because they're squeezies. Yeah. Ooh. It looks <laughs> like a bird. Looks like it looks a like a hero. bird. Like a hero. Oh. A heron. 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 I've never anybody called that before. A heron. A heron. Heron. A heron. <laughs> heron. I like it better. A heron. A heron. <laughs> now we're now we're naming it like a fucking mod. The heron. <laughs> heron. Heron. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna go because there's a big silence there. So I'm gonna say what I've been vaping on. Uh, <laughs> I got this new um, from uh, Subom Innovations, the Sub Zero X, and look how dirty it is. Two weeks. That's brass. That's fucking black. Nice. I use it. I mean, I use it. That's pretty much all I ever use. But still, that's that's pretty fucked up. I was yeah, gonna play, but hands. I didn't have my time. broad my broadside's getting there. <laughs> have, hey, my Travis. Huh? Mine's shiny. Yours is have, shiny. Have, do you have yours set up in uh, hybrid mode? No, because I don't have okay. the RDA for it. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, then you, never mind. The RDA that you can get for this. I'm definitely gonna get because I can get it for cheaper for for uh, at cost, which I gotta get for like forty bucks. Um, not bragging, I'm just saying that's the only way I can afford to get it. You know what I mean? And so I am gonna get it, and it comes with a little. Uh, you got you replace the top cap of this thing. This thing's already hybrid top cap, but you replace the whole top cap, and the RDA it just fits directly on the mod. Um, I can it's, demonstrate. It's, it's beautiful when it when it's actually all together. I'm Should just I or no? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I know. I, got, I have mothers. I just oh. I just haven't shined it yet because I use it so much that it feels like if I shine it, I'm just gonna get it dirty again. You will. <laughs> but it's straight black now. I mean, you can look at it. it. Looks like it's black painted. You know, it's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. Imagine yeah. how many germs are on that now. Oh, it's germy. It's very germy. <laughs> hey, Travis. What? Black and silver brushed. SOI shorty. I like it. That's the older one. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, those are dope. I, I just got just got it in a trade. The Sub Zero X I had to get just because it was the uh, the nicest one that my homeboy had at his shop, um, his online shop, in my opinion, because it has the clutch throw, it has the clutch switch, and I love the clutch switch, man. Like the broadside, yeah. it's got all the same things the broadside has, except this also has interchangeable sleeves. And right. I know a machinist, and he's, uh, you can actually download from SOI, um, Subom Innovations, yeah, SOI, SOI, and um, you can download this, the, the, the fucking measurements for the, yep, um, the exact dimensions for the sleeves. And so he's going to make me an overdose vapes one. It's going to be dope. Nice. Dope. Nice. So I'm looking forward to that. That'd be cool. And the sleeves are only 20 bucks and the mod itself is only 120 bucks. Right. So it's actually a really good deal. And it's got like one of the most, one of the best throws for a mod, man. It beats the broadside, in my opinion, as far as like a competition mod. It beats the broadside a hundred times. I love the fact that There's they also on. include, um, you know, the different O-rings to weaken your throw or tighten up your throw as yeah. well. Yeah. So yeah. Go ahead, Yeti. I got you pinned well, here, bro. Right on. That's uh, that's what I think is cool. They did it with the uh, uh, the shorty as well, but like right now it's set up in regular. Um, in like regular mode, I guess, like regular hybrid mode. You could put any any Addy up on top, but if you take it off, you unscrew the, take the Addy off, and you take the the hybrid piece off, so that just your battery will be exposed. And you take this base off. And they send you a special the, little tool. The 510, yeah, they send you a little key. Yep. Yep. That's so dope. And you take the take the base part off so now the base of your rda will fit directly to like direct hybrid to your battery just like that plus it's, it shortens it a bit it shortens it a bit which is important because it's a beast already man yeah yeah, yeah and i really i really like this 
And I think the contacts, it doesn't say anywhere. I, I was looking everywhere. Um, I think the contacts are silver plated. Um, they are. It seems like they would be fucking bragging about that, but it's nowhere in the materials. It doesn't say anything about the, the yeah, materials. Yeah, no, they, they did. So uh, on the SOIX, it is uh, silver plated contacts. On the shorties, yeah. ultimately, you would buy the mod, and the shorties would come with the regular copper contacts and the silver plated contacts. On the legendary, it only comes with the copper contacts. You have to buy the uh, silver plated contacts for those separately. So dope, though. No, it's it's my favorite mech mod, um, it, and especially for the price. I just think you can't fucking beat it. Um, the 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 broadside's my second favorite, but this just 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 has it beat. And the fucking switch is immaculate. Butter. It's such yeah, a it's it. such a smooth fucking throw. It's Clutch. my favorite, man. Clutch, Clutch buttons are hard to beat. They're really hard to beat, man. They're really hard to beat. Um, there's yeah. not many out there, but there's only yeah, there's only a few. And um, it just hits like a train, man. On any RDA, I've used it with tons of RDAs, but I have right now I'm at the Elios Light on here because it's my favorite, and it kind of matches the black patina. So, <laughs> fucking, I'm just I'm making it work instead of shining it. Giz is typing a novel on his on his typewriter. Uh, on his typewriter. Okay, you didn't know. <laughs> so, um, what was I gonna say? Holy shit! Oh, I did have something to say. Um, I've also been vaping on this shit. Big cheap bottles is what it's called. Big cheap bottles in Yeti wire. Now I wish um, I don't have any other one. Um, this is uh, Big Cheap Bottles BCB. It's from the Vape, vape Breakfast Classics people, and I've just been actually really blown away by the quality of the juice it's not bad man and it's not you know what it's not even as fucking gunky as the normal vape breakfast classics juices um and I i'm vaping a, a flavor that i thought this is going to be tough for them it's the raspberry cake and i'm like that that that's tough for anybody right raspberry is not one of those flavors that really goes well is that one good it's good yeah. it's good it's really good i got the cereal donut one and the Straw the BCB strawberry. Yeah, see, they they just use like it'll. This one just says raspberry, right? Yeah. But um, but it's not. It's it's like raspberry cake. If you go on their website, you'll see like the strawberry one is like a strawberry cream, but it's it just says cream. it just says strawberry on it. You know? And then this one's actually a. Fr this actually tastes like fruit. Uh, fruity pebbles donut. Yes. Fruity pebbles everywhere, man. It's become it's becoming a problem. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think I was everything. gonna like it, but I, I I I have not found a good fruity pebbles, like cereal, but that actually is really good for fruity pebbles. I've been only I've been really breakfast. surprised. I've been really surprised by it. Twenty five bucks. Um, the 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 fucking mm -hmm. price is printed right on the bottle, which is great because you go to a vape shop and you're like, hey, that says twenty five bucks. You can't charge me more than that. Well, I thought, I think it does. Some of them do. Well, I know for sure. This one, yeah, this they one do. does not. Mine does. Yeah. Okay. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? There was something else. Oh, this fucking Chinese cotton. Not great. You lied. To me. <laughs> it's not great. I'm vaping my personal juice on there, so I, I know very well what this is supposed to taste like. Not okay. Here's the thing. This isn't bad. It's just cotton. Okay, it's not like anything special. It's just cotton. Here's what it, here's what it looks like. It's a big cotton roll. It's like it's like makeup cotton is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be awesome. It's not. It's not great. It's just cotton. I mean, it just tastes like cotton. Cotton to me always tasted a little funky uh, until I found cotton bacon. Cotton bacon's the only cotton that I've ever tasted that didn't taste like anything. It just tasted blank, like juice. It, it and, looks uh, like toilet paper. You have bacon bits. This does look a little bit like toilet paper. Yeah, yeah it does. It'd be a <laughs> really excellent. It would there. be an excellent <laughs> toilet paper because it's very soft. It's Actually, cotton. that reminds me of when my mom used to give us perms and used to do the thing around the head to where it wouldn't trip mm. in our face. Right. Perms, dude. That's what I was fixing to say. Straight old school perms. This is probably what the same shit. I would imagine, dude. It's just cotton, yeah. you know. It's like yeah. they 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 put it in a, a black shiny bag to make it look like cotton bacon. With a little cute character, which is cool, you know. I mean, I don't think this is gonna like hurt you or anything, um, but it's just cotton, so you know. But I have some to give away, so we'll give some away. Um, I have a bunch to give away. Actually, sent, I sent Meter. Um, Meter bought a bottle of juice, 
And so I sent him a bag as well. So we'll see what he has to say about it. Um, but I have, I mean, I can make it rain with Angor Rabbit <laughs> if I wanted, but um, so we'll give away like five bags tonight. Uh, so people can, people can experience this along with me. I announced that on Instagram um, that if people wanted to get some, they'd have to come and watch the show. So, and um, I think some people that wanted some are here. So that's good. Uh, I haven't even looked at chat. Uh, let me see. Um, Slushy, what's up? Nate38, Kelly, Princess Vapes, Prince Vapes and DIY, Shore Vapor, Kenny B. I already said Kenny B. My bad. Um, there's people here. A lot of people here. A lot of people. Vaping Vet, Vaping Swag. That's what's up. So is Vaping Vet, is he a vaping vet or is that from the company or the, the charity? That wouldn't make sense, right? Why would the charity people be here? Right. No, mm -hmm. so it's just, it's a vet. It's vapes. That's good. Okay. All right. So I guess we can look at the coils now. Um, I got some coils from uh, people that uh, watch the show, which is great. Um, I have to get one from my email. I should probably do that off um, screen so people don't hack my fucking email. Um, uh, we can talk about San Francisco. San Francisco did a flavor ban. Um, it's pretty fucked up. I live an hour north of San Francisco. I was literally just down there today. There we go. Life knows what's up. San Francisco sucks. Um, I was fucking devastated to hear this. Out of all places in the world that this could happen, San Francisco seems like the last place. It's a very liberal place. But see, that's the problem yeah. is that now liberals, which you would think would be pushing for vaping, are actually some of our biggest enemies, which is very unfortunate. It's like they're trying to say that it's like the new smoking, you know, and um, it, it's just, you know, we're going to remember this shit when it comes time to vote. You know, it's like uh, people of people of San Francisco. Remember this when it comes time to vote your fucking city council and, and your people who make these decisions fucking boot them out of office for this shit, man. It, this this is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. <clears throat> Um, let me borrow the floor for just a second. Go for it. Um, sure. Uh, uh, Brandon had absolutely no intentions on putting out a 26650 stacked broadside. He had he didn't want anything to do with it. Um, Yosh was very interested in it, so Brandon allowed uh, Yosh to run with it. Uh, so VaporGate will be putting out a 26650 stack broadside. He's allowed him to use the name too, but it's yep. called the 99. It's called the 99. Yeah. And it's um, what it is is the the run of 50 that already came out uh, is serialized, mm -hmm. uh, and it only says VaporGate the 99 on the bottom ring uh, where the button is. The button actually has the VaporGate oh. logo on it. Move the the um, top hat of the mod has the VaporGate logo on it. And uh, on the actual production run, they are going to put the 99 right there, right where Nikki shows it. It will actually say the 99 on it. And it's actually going to be a full production run. It's not going to be yeah. a limited run. Uh, the limited run was the un, uh, unserialized. Uh, well, serialized up to 50, unetched. The actual run is going to start at 51 and go on. And you know what? If anybody that I would trust for this, I do trust Yosh. I, yeah. He, yeah. I think that he, he has only the best intentions, yeah. man. You know what I he mean? He puts yeah. out really good quality stuff, but the, I'm just worried about the price tag. Uh, price tag is $180. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only downside that I have seen on it so far is it doesn't come with a Delrin sleeve on the inside, but that could only be in the um, in the first 50. Uh, I got a chance to play with number 30 uh, owned by uh, n number 25 owned by my buddy Dan from uh, the Farm Brigade, and uh, it's a great mod. It hits like it, it's it's an endo killer. You know anybody that you see. Rocking those H P N E mods, yeah, you're gonna see these things blowing okay. up that spot. I, I had so that picture because Big Natty was sending me this when they were in the, um, in Columbus and stuff, and they look. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're fantastic. 
Oh, you, they are fantastic. If you, if you think about it, though, um, the broadside was, what, 150, right? Yep. 130. Okay, so, I mean, you're, you're doubling you're, you're doubling the length. You're making it wide. I mean, it's it's more metal, if anything else. And so I think, actually, the price is pretty uh, reasonable. It's, it, it's good. Well, well, I mean, for a third of the cost of a, you know, of an endo armor, uh, or any of the other ones. Yeah, that but it's hard out, to like, it's hard to compare it to that because that's it's a totally different thing. The broadside, totally right, the broadside's right. supposed to be a little bit cheaper than everything else. I mean, that's, well, right, right. Uh, but I mean, again, it's a third of the price yeah, of an endo. Yeah, but know? an endo, but an endo so, is like a very. I mean, nobody has that shit. I mean, very few uh, fucking people yeah. have those things. You know? <laughs> Come to Massachusetts and you'll see how many fucking endo armors they're, there are. They're all there. Oh that's, yeah, that's man. That's the problem. You know? Oh yeah, no, definitely. So, Technically, the the ninety nine is exactly the same price as a stacked broadside. Yeah, because the broadside's one thirty, the stacked piece is sixty. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah. you know your one ninety right there. And I mean, yeah. they've got the in between with the admiral for the twenty seven seven hundreds yeah. for one sixty. So you have your three price points of broadside style mods now. You know what I mean? It's and kind it of won't be long, and they'll be putting a stacked piece for the admiral. I'm sure. It's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird that we have to say broadside style mod when we're talking about something that's authentic, totally above yeah. ground, well, I mean, above I, board. You made, know I mean? made by broadside, but it's put out by Vaporgate. It's, yeah, it's, it's li licensed well, by broadside. Well, at least he yeah. went with Vaporgate, though. Vaporgate is known for quality, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind, bright. He does not, he does not go cheap. If, if any, I will, like I said, if anybody to, to put it out, like the Mason, the dump tank, all that shit. You know, I, like, I love, yeah, I love my. You know what? My he doesn't. He, he doesn't like go cheap on like the screws, the nope. anything. It's nope. all. I've never had to replace anything on a paper gate product. No, I think it's. I think it's. I mean, like I said, I think that it, it's a great idea because people want it, and it would be crazy of them not to put it out there and make the money to you know. I like you. She's actually more personal than a lot of people think. He actually goes to local vape shops and everything and just hangs out. Oh, I, used to watch, I used to watch that dude's YouTube channel like back in 2010. <laughs> so Dude, Yosh is the, man. Yosh nah. is the shit. I remember when his Smurf juice used to come with like a label that was like handmade and shit. <laughs> yep. You know, mm -hmm. it was blue and. Well, the, he still has the blue. He also brought out the clear, which was the Smurfette, which... Which is, like, something he should have done a long time ago. Well, the Smurfette, <laughs> though, is real sugarier. Oh, wow. Than even twice the sugar than the Merlot. That's weird. It's the, weird. Any but... colored juices always throw me off. I, I just don't like yeah. colored juices. I remember... This is how old I am. I remember when uh, unicorn yeah. milk from Cutwood was pink. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was, like, a creamy colored pink. It was fucking yep. weird. The guari look. Well, was almost guari. all of his, <laughs> all of his were like different colors and stuff. And I think it was, you know, he's just got realized we're not in it for the color. <laughs> yeah. And people I don't want. Up, don't want this I picked up some yeah. one don't time. Don't put an additive. That was Heisenberg, and it was blue. I've heard of that. <laughs> I've heard of yeah. that. Yeah. No, the Heisenberg sure. stuff is that juice is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's good. I just didn't like that it was blue in color. Yeah. Made your cotton look really funky. It had to be blue though. It had to be blue. That's true. Yeah, to call it Eisenberg, it had to be blue. Right? It has to be. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just right. <laughs> that's super fucking true. What are you vaping on there? Eisenberg, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Science, bitch. Um. Okay. What else was I going with this? Oh yeah, let's look at the coils now. Okay, so we did uh, helix. This is what we were talking about before I was going off on San Francisco. Um. Uh, we're going to look at Helix coils. That's the coils that uh, we, we decided on uh, at the beginning of last week. And so um, we <laughs> yeah. gave we gave everybody a fucking chance to make them. Everybody on the panel waited until today to make them, which is fucking no, I, made, I, I, made, I, 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 I made mine Friday night. I just didn't upload the pictures. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. I was like the last couple hours. <laughs> I made mine literally. I got home from the races, from the NASCAR races. And before I even like took a shower or anything, I'm like, I gotta build, I gotta like learn how to build a helix coil real quick. Like I want to build something good, and fucking then I want to build a helix coil. So I watch like the old school twisted messes helix coil videos, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I could do something like that. And so I, I whipped up something real quick. The pictures themselves are terrible because I'm like yeah. shaky from being outside all day. I guess I don't know what the fuck is this, but um, the pictures are not that stable. But I I think it actually came out pretty cool. And Hesh yeah. Hesh, Hesh made like a, a it's like a bridged. Helix style kind of. Yeah, it's it's uh. It's nice actually. I think it was nice. 
Yeah, it was 20, 28 gauge Niachrome, uh, twisted, two sticks of it, and then uh, 30, what is this, uh, 36 gauge Niachrome for the um, why are you, Helix. Why are you saying it like that? Niachrome. I, it's <laughs> what are you saying it like that for? Force of habit. I've, no, I've heard you say it a million times. Nichrome. Nichrome. I've heard you say it before. Ni I know. All of a sudden, Nichrome. Nichrome. You're me off. You're fucking me up. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. That's a basic helix coil. That's what they're supposed to look like. All you guys were lucky. I started making a helix and That's it not turned into a pterodactyl, and I had to kill it. Okay. What, uh, what is that? That's that's a, a clapping oh, helix nice. around round wire than helix with uh, 36 gauge yeah so that's, that's not, what that's i basic. should that's what i should have entered yeah. <laughs> but he didn't yeah. folks he entered something yeah. else it's it's still cool man it's still cool no, it's not. it is it's just you just are hard on yourself and you did it in a fucking <laughs> quick time that's all well, that's <laughs> obvious that was this was the well i'll, I'll wait till it's shown there's Giz's. There's, the <laughs> There's the other one. Yeah, yeah, Giz. I can type in Helix Coil on Google, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like the first thing that comes up. Yep. That's straight, like, the yeah, first it was, thing. It was, it was OC Om, Om Boy or something like that. Omboy OC, Omboy. yeah, that's yeah. Omboy Ox. It's nice, though, right? Uh, it's, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I know Dwayne. Cheating. I know Dwayne's work, bro. <laughs> it is nice, though. It is nice, yeah. yeah. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Um, so I'm going to try, like last week the panel couldn't see the coils, but everybody else could. So this week I'm going to try to share here, share my screen with you guys here first, and then screen share on OBS and see if that works. Um, I'm not 100% sure on it. I'll uh, pull it up. My, mine ended up being a twisted mess. Good. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. But um, still, they Mine, I ended up doing, um, I, I clapped in 30 gauge uh, Niachrome around a 26 gauge Canthal. And then I, um, I took a piece of that and then I, um, I, I twisted a piece of 26 gauge Canthal. And then I uh, twisted those together and I tried to. First, and then strange and I tried to flatten that. Uh, it didn't really work, but. Um, it is what it is. And then I, then I, uh, I had another piece of uh, Clapton wire left over, so I wrapped that in parallel with it. There we are. Fuckers. I'll hey, let you fuckers. know if it comes up. Okay, oh yeah, good. Excellent, okay. So, let me... Oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay. Let me try now. Yeah, I should have entered that one. <laughs> Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay. That I one's tried, I, I tried redoing that. <laughs> and it's just, yeah, it didn't work out. Okay, everybody at, everybody at home watching can see my desktop. I have a well, winter theme because it's like 110 degrees at my house. And so um, we were going for a cool theme inside. Um, but I have the pictures here in a folder. I'm going to try to screen share with you guys. Desktop one, share screen. Okay, can you guys see that? Can you see my desktop? Yep, we can. Okay, good. We can. That's what I want. And then I'm going to share it on OBS with the chat. Okay. Um, Which I think I can do. That's, what I, that's how I did it last week. Actually, we can see it on the live stream. Oh, you can? Yeah. Okay. Good. As long as you're clicking on them to go big. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, going you'll to. have to click. No, okay. definitely. Definitely. I'm going to make them full screen. Um, we're going to be... We I can see us on the right-hand side. Okay, this is from yeah. um, this is from a, a viewer. This is from Clean as Fuck Coils. Clean uh, underscore AF underscore Coils on Instagram. The dude mm -hmm. has some sick fucking builds. Um, so this is uh, this is the glow Ready. shot. The glow shot from him. Um, we have several of his pictures here that I will show. Um, um, here we go. And here is a side shot, a barrel shot. I'm not seeing. Hold on, it's there. Give it some it time, bro. Yeah, okay. it's like a few minutes delay. Yeah, it's got a sick. It's got a sick delay on the fucking stream, bro. All right, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hesh uh, had to drop because his laptop froze. So, okay, so barrel shot. Um, 
this is the non uh, this is no, looks like it's been fired it's no i think that's pre-fired okay all right the it's that still... alien underneath that alien underneath was used in another build as well so so he just stuck the did he just stick it was it already in there and then he stuck the fucking other coil over no that's cool that. though it is yeah, cool though that's cool <laughs> It is though, yeah. So that is a helix wire wrapped around an alien coil. Um, mm -hmm. It's sick. I, I forget what that's called when you have a coil inside a coil. Uh, the conception coils or inception Inception's. coils. So it's like an inception inception coil with a um, a, a base, a tube of uh, of alien wrapped around alien with helix, helix which is dope. Mm -hmm. It's 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 obviously the best coil that's going to be shown tonight. Um, in my opinion, it's it's really nice. So, it's okay. So this is from uh, this is from Paul. This is what he had. It's not it's not the best picture, um, but it's two pieces of um, of helixish wire um, braided together. Not braided together. Um, stitched together, I guess. No, it's it's two pieces of, of twisted wire helixed together. There you go. There you go. I'll just let you say what they are, all right? Because I have no <laughs> well, fucking idea. I mean... No, I, you need to. This is a real thing. This is from Nikki. Yeah, my, my picture was not good, but mine ended up just being two twisteds together. I forgot the helix part. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Like we were saying, this is the we we, we all of us waited till the like the very last fucking minute, which is yeah. Something. I don't have that many thin gauge wires, so what that was was like twenty six gauge, and so I was like, oh, that's gonna be so low on one coil. <laughs> so, I was like, uh, um, so this is what I came up with. It's not really helix wire, um, but like I said, I did it the last second. Um, I, I tried to flatten what I had helixed, but it was a piece of um, uh, Clapton and a piece of uh, twisted wire, and it just it wanted to come apart like a motherfucker. It didn't want to flatten at all. And so um, this is what I came up with. It, it you know it's not exactly what a helix coil, but it is um, yeah. a parallel Clapton twisted with twisted. And um, I like it. It's it's actually a pretty nice little thing. Um, it's it came out to 0.3, so it's way above what I could use on a mech mod. So I had to find a regulated mod, which I have this Cool Fire Ultra 150. I have it cranked all the way up to 150, and it's putting off um, decent vapor. It could use more. It could use more wattage. To be totally honest, it could use 200. Yeah. Yeah, that's technically not a helix. <laughs> it's definitely not a helix. No, I mean, but um, by the time I had made all this wire and shit to make this, I wasn't gonna redo it. And so this is just yeah. what I, this is what I came up with. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, upon looking for a definition of helix, um, of just regular helix wire, um, there was some conflicting opinions uh, from what I saw. Uh, but going back like four years to the Twisted Message channel, um, what he had was a twisted wire that was flattened. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't have to be flat. <clears throat> what makes it what makes a helix is you take like take a, a basic helix is a twisted wire, and then you take a smaller gauge and run it between the grooves of that. Mm. So it's basically anything that runs between the grooves of another coil. Okay. You'll see like when you see mine, it's it's a, a variation of a helix. Okay. <clears throat> that makes sense. Okay. Like right. see, look on look on yours. You see the. Uh, uh, the wire that's got the, the twisted wire. Mm -hmm. If you had a smaller gauge, like just a regular round wire, going between the Clapton and the twist, mm -hmm. and going all the way around it, that would be a helix. Okay. Okay. I get it now. All right. This is the, this was a post fire shot, so I got all the color from the ni the niachrome. <laughs> um, another post fire shot. Post fire shot. Uh, this is what it looked like pre fire. Uh, it's just a big mess of fucking wire in all reality is what it came out to be. Uh, bird's nest. Straight bird's nest. And uh, But sometimes that can be nice. Um, it's yeah. got massive amounts of flavor coming off of it. Except for it's got this um, regular Angora Rabbit perm cotton in it. So uh, it is what it is. Another shot. And here's uh, Yeti's coil. Why don't you go ahead and explain what you did here, buddy? Uh, fucked it all up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a basically just a twisted... Uh, yeah, a twisted frame staple, and then the helix wire is a uh, 26 gauge stainless, a 40 gauge stainless, uh, 40 gauge Clapton, and a 30 gauge or 38 gauge stainless, and I alternated them and skipped. So it was like it was uh, 
it was 36, 40, 38, skip, and then uh, 36, 40, 36, <coughs> skip. So you see, because you can see, like on the one, two, second one, there's a skip spot, and then there's a bigger. You see, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Wow. And the, yeah, the it didn't it it didn't work out the way it worked out in my head, and also my parallel wire uh, showed up in my A. Uh, the parallel wire was supposed to be actually the, uh, you know, the the showstopper, and I can't find my parallel wire. I think it fell in the trash. So Yeti, is that stacked flat wire? Yes. That's a lot of stacks. That's a lot of stacks. Yes. That's lot. a lot of ribbon wire. What are they, like uh, 13 many, pieces? Yeah, that's a lot. I don't know. I didn't count. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> over 10. It looks yeah, like Yeah, it's probably over 10. I, I, I rarely do under 10. <clears throat> oh, hell. Leave it there, Travis. I'll blow it up. Okay. It's still pretty, though. Fifteen. Fifteen. Wow. It's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. It, it's 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 less perfect than your normal stuff, which I like because it shows people a more realistic version of something they might see on Instagram. This is something that you might be able to make at home. I mean, honestly, I I don't well, think I can't. I couldn't. You know. I made it at home. I know you did. <laughs> but see, people see shit on Instagram and it seems unattainable. And that's one of the things I wanted to do with this segment was just show people like, hey, man, anybody can do this shit. Like a bunch yeah. of fucking goofs like us can do this. You know, yeah. um, anybody can. And so this is keeping with that theme, I think, honestly. Okay, so that's the last picture that I have. I didn't count Giz's because he obviously sent me the first thing he found on, on uh, Google. <laughs> so well, I worked hard on it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to copy and paste that shit. Um, you had to search it. I do have one more, though, <laughs> from uh, another viewer. You know, I can't remember his name right off the top of my head, and I don't have it up. Um, but um, he'll know it when he sees it. And, um, and buddy, here's one for you. Um, I thought it was really cool that he did this. Um, he was one of the first ones to show it. And his is way more of what a Helix wire is than mine, for sure. Um, yeah, that's... And saying yeah. what, what Yeti was saying, um, that's what Helix wire looks like. So. Yeah. That's like a, yeah. And this is Helix mixed with um, with a Clapton. I mean, it's it's a Clapton that's Helixed. It's a Clapton twisted with flat with ground wire, then Helix, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And he was having similar problems uh, when he first contacted me. He said the same thing. Like he goes, "I'm having a lot of trouble actually finding what like what a a, a traditional Helix is." And so, um, <laughs> you know, he came, but he he got it way closer than I did. So yeah. That's right. It's uh, it's actually only a half helix. Actually, he's only got one. He's only got one strand of helix. He's got there's another side that didn't get helix, which mm. that's cool. Okay. okay some I people see what, do. I see what you're some, some people do a full helix. Some people do two. Okay. I get it now. It's a confusing fucking build. I think it's it's the 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 concept can be a little confusing. Um, Unless you, I mean, once you get it, I think it's easy. But I think that, like, just having somebody tell you about it, is, yeah, is, is you definitely got to see it. You got to see it, yeah. I think this well, is a good like, example of that. I mean, for me yeah. at least. Can you, can you blow that up just a little bit? Yeah. Okay, that that'll work. Like, take the uh, look at the one, two, three, the fourth, the one right there. Okay, right where your cursor is at. That's one of the helix wires. Yeah. Now go go to the next one, just directly to your right. Now you see right there in that space, there's not a yeah, the wire. It, okay, it, you see it, that's the right other. Yeah, yeah, that's wire. that's the other side of the of the uh, wire. That's where it didn't get helixed. Okay. So he only he only ran it one time. So there's like there's like <laughs> so helix wire fine. like helix wire here 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 yeah. not here not here. Yeah. Every every other uh, twist will have a helix. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Yeah, like by the time it got here, the, the helix wire was up at this point, and then at the next one, it was behind. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Cool. Yeah, they're fun to make. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that that could be um, something really fun, but I think and that they're flavorful. They are very flavorful. Like like know? this this build right here, this one that he's showing, that's an extremely flavorful build. You know, with the spacing and everything, any space build, from what I've learned, um, space builds are always great. 
with flavor. Um, it, it covers way more surface area that cotton, and it is heating up in those spaces in between. Um, those those coils are getting glowing red hot, and so it is, you know, um, vaporizing the juice that's in between these spaces here. So yeah, that's what we had for uh, Helix Night. Um, the last one ended up being the most traditional Helix, I think, and that's cool. I dig it. Hell yeah. All right, now let's uh, stop sharing and start caring. <laughs> okay. I uh, know I don't know how to do that. Uh, up at the top. It should you see it should see it. Up at the top <laughs> I see Yeti there. Red 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 little button that says stop sharing. Oh yeah, they're up and up. Is on my regular mm -hmm. screen. There we go. There you go. There we go. Enter full screen mode. There we go, and we're back. So that was an interesting little diversion. Um, I learned something new, which is always cool. I like to learn. I like to learn new stuff. Um, <clears throat> so next week we're gonna have another. Um, we're gonna have another build showcase, right? It's less of a competition. We did a competition for the cloud blowing. Um, this is less of that. This is more of just a showcase of, uh, of what what can be done with coils and the different takes on coils that you're gonna see are always very interesting. So we're gonna come up with something new next week. Um, I, I'm going to try to come up with it because Yeti, um, he didn't like uh, the pressure of having to decide what we were going to do this week. <laughs> no, um, no, he did a great job. I think Helix was a great choice. And um, next week we'll pick something also. Um, we got to pick something interesting and something that's um, difficult, maybe. A little, a little bit more difficult. Like framed staples, something like that. I don't know. Um, we'll let everybody know, though, and then we will um, give you guys an opportunity to to take part in this. If you want your coils on the show, you just got to send them to me at overdosevapes at yahoo.com. Or if we're friends on Facebook, you can always Facebook messer, messenger, messenger them to me. That's a hard sentence for me to say. Facebook okay. Message. See? Message. Message. This Facebook messenger. No, messenger is the app. Yes. Message Facebook is what you do. Message me. There we go. Yes, the verb. <laughs> All right. Word up. <laughs> All right. Um, so I, I wanted to go back for a second to the San Francisco thing. Um, that's not the first place to get a flavor ban. I remember New Jersey was talking about them, but I don't think that actually went through. Didn't go through. But New didn't York, go. New York was also talking about it. And I think that one did go through, right? But then it got repealed or something. I don't remember. Because I remember them. There was two of them. Yeah, they were trying to get it to where it only had tobacco, menthol, and clove. That doesn't make any fucking sense. That doesn't make sense to me. You know what I mean? That just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Yeah, because if you think about it, uh, there's a whole bunch of line of cigars that have cherry and and all these other flavors and stuff. That is so true. And you know what? I wonder if they're there's still going to have. I wonder if they're still going to have grape swishers at liquor yeah. stores. Yeah, swishers is the line months. that actually has the whole bunch of yeah. like. There's cigars that had peach flavored, strawberry, that a whole bunch. So why? Why limit it to, oh, only cigars can have that. That's that's where this came from. It was initially designed for tobacco, for flavored tobacco. That's what it was going after, was for the Swisher Sweets and the grape flavored cigars. That's what it was going after. Vaping just got picked up. It was an innocent bystander, basically. Uh, that sucks. That makes so much sense though, because honestly, a grape Swisher is so much more appealing to a kid than a grape e-juice because a grape e-juice is going to taste like shit but a grape swisher they can make blunts out of those yeah. and kids well, love now. kids love blunts and so you yeah. know that's interesting to you know that'd be interesting to see in san francisco how they enforce that there is honestly there's like a million liquor stores in san francisco and and some of those stores are pretty shady and if uh, if i mean if it comes down to like uh Cal it's not a california ban this is a city ban and so, how are the how are they going to enforce these stores <clears throat> to not be carrying um, flavored cigars? You know, that's flavored cigars. The the e the e juice is easy because they'll just shut down all the fucking vape stores, and then it, and then it doesn't matter. Like what are they like the space space jam e juice in the fucking uh, gas station? That's gone. Who cares? That's not a big loss. The vape shops that's a huge loss. But what I think that's still going to happen is you're still going to see grape swisher sweets in the fucking liquor stores. I mean, how, how are they going to stop that? I just don't see how they would stop that. All they got to do is put it under the counter, and then the regular customers are going to say, of course, I got grape swishers for you. 
But if, like, some weirdo fucking comes in with, like, some young-looking kids wanting to buy Grape Swishers, they're just going to say, no, we don't have Grape Swishers. Because that's, what they, that's how they do these traps. Uh, I work at a nonprofit, <clears throat> and um, as part of that nonprofit, sometimes I'll do collaborative work, and I've worked with, um, like, social services before, right? Now, social services, um, which is, like, the welfare people, sometimes they will work with, like, other agencies, like the, like the uh, Department of Health, Public Health. So public health will do these sting operations. Well, they they will hire high school kids yes. to go into liquor stores and attempt to buy alcohol and tobacco products, yeah. which yeah. is fucking shady. And I always <laughs> hated working with social services because they did so much of that shit. They do it a lot. Like, like every week they have a different group of kids going to these stores trying to fucking bust these people. And they'll also will hang out hang out outside and ask people to buy them beer. And then bust them for that shit. That's fucked up. Um, I don't approve of any of those tactics. You know what I mean? And um, that's like that's really the only trick they have in their in their basket as far as like enforcing the tobacco laws, is to have young kids go into these stores and try to purchase them. First off, it's if you let your kids do that, that's fucking you're weird because I would never let my kid be in a weird situation where there's any potential for them to be in danger. And uh, you know what? A mad store owner or a mad customer who who just bought beer for your daughter. Um, she's in danger because, you know, like, they just got a $500 ticket, and they're not yeah. fucking happy about it. You know, I've seen this shit go down in, in real life, and these people are never fucking happy. It's never like they go, oh, thank you, you know, thank you for yeah. checking me on this fucking underage tobacco shit. They, they, don't, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They're just mad they got a $500 ticket for it. Yeah, my yeah. future son-in-law got uh, a ticket for the store that he worked for because he just started working there as a the cashier. <clears throat> and a per they got, a, you know, their clientele that come in and they get beer and stuff they're oh well i don't have an id and he doesn't card them you get fined if you don't card them right. right now so he got a ticket you know and reprimanded for that you know saying hey you sold to uh even though they were 21 you did not card them so it, but there, there's like little things that they teach them they're going <clears> to <throat> come in get a thing of water a specific water and the beer and then say i i don't have the id so that's how they learn this is what they do and they, and they get away with that's that. bullshit because if they were actually 21 then no fucking crime has been committed no but you sold without card without card yeah, that's against it's against the law it's bullshit. against the law not to card ah. it's but, against the law but not here's to the card. here's how the law works in california <clears throat> it's anybody who looks under 40. now who hmm. is the judge of that some 18-year-old kid behind the fucking counter who can't even buy it himself? Well, they actually can't check them out unless they're 21, too. That's yeah. fucking crazy. 18 in Oklahoma. And I think it's yeah. 18 I think it's 18, 18 in California, 18. even though our drinking 18. age is 21. Is it 18? I think that you can still yeah. work in a liquor store and sell people alcohol. You, you can work you yeah. can work in a liquor store and sell alcohol in Massachusetts um, at the age of 18. You can work in a bar at the age of 18 and be a server, uh, be a bartender, yeah, right. as long as your tip's certified. I know, yeah, that, I, I know I, that in California, I remember you, working can't, as a cashier. you can't work in bars in California. I know that. Um, but I have seen underage kids at liquor stores and selling alcohol. Now, whether it's, whether they're just um, breaking the law and they and knowingly breaking the law, I, don't, I can't say. But I know I have seen kids under 21 selling alcohol. So, um, yeah, you know, I think, it, I think it's 18, but I remember working as a cashier <clears throat> being 16 and somebody had to ring it across and punch in a key code. You know, even if so, even if the kid's 21, all right, let's just say they're 21, and they're selling alcohol or and, and tobacco. Now, do I trust a 21 year old kid to be able to guess my age? No. So basically what you're telling yeah. them is you have to card everyone. Right. It's, you know, that's what they actually want to do yeah. is right. to be able to swipe your ID in order to actually purchase now. Yeah, Massachusetts, we've got a barcode on the back of the ID, and mm -hmm. they drop it in a barcode reader. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing that the vape shops in the area have been doing is uh, because of the regs and everything like that, there is a service up in Massachusetts that a person will come in and test to see if they're getting carded. And what they do is, you know, they walk in... They'll ask, hey, do you guys carry those blue cigarettes or, you know, e-cigs or whatever, you know, the cigar likes? They'll ask for, like, real, really obscure shit that they know that that shop doesn't sell. But then they'll be like, uh, they'll be like, uh, no, we don't carry that. Uh, oh, let me show you what we do carry. 
but can I check your ID first? You know what I mean? And then as soon as they get them over to the counter where they're going to show them, they slide them a little green card. Hey, you just passed, uh, you know, the, the ID check. So here's the thing. If they were to show those people products, would they get a ticket? If, if they didn't ask for ID first and they were to show them a fucking tank, they, that's, that's they, a fucking offense. Well, here, here uh, this is a private company that's doing it to make sure that the, the shops are up uh, on par and that they're actually doing what the, the state is actually asking them to do. Um, they would not get a ticket unless it was one of the, uh, you know, somebody direct from like the uh, FDA or, uh, well, I don't want to say the FDA, but uh, yes. ATF, ATF agents um, or anything like that. But the ATF agents even carry around those green cards as well to hand out. Um, so Isig Barn, I know for a fact, uh, cards everybody. Unless you're one of the regulars that's in every day, they card everybody that walks in the door. Here's, it doesn't matter. It does not matter your age. If you're 18, if you're 99, here's you're something carded. Here's something that Rosa just brought up. That's a really good point. Is that she grew up in a small town and started buying beer and cigarettes at 16, 15, 16. Uh, yep, yep. That's same the same here. for me. And I think it's the same for a lot of people who grew up in small towns. So a yeah, small town's rules are always different because it all, it depends on who you know. I grew up in a, I grew up in a big city. I grew up in Quincy, which is just one town. Uh, it's the next suburb of Boston, and I was even you know at fourteen, fifteen, walking up to gas stations. Hey, let me get a pack of Newports. Let me get a pack of you know Marlboro Reds. Check this out. Check this out. Uh, this is how backwoods southern Oklahoma is. <laughs> my my uh, half brother, uh, when he was seven years old, they lived down in a town called Wil Wilburton. It's it's a podunk backwoods hillbilly ass town. It's called Wilburton for Christ's sakes. Yeah, dude, it's it is backwoods. I don't I don't even like going there. Anyways, uh, they how podunk this is. His mom would write a note on a piece of paper. Say I give my kid permission. Give him, oh you know, God. two packs of whatever. She, he, he, she'd give him the note. He'd go inside, and put the note down on the, you know, on the counter. And then they would just look out, and she would wave at him, and he'd walk out with her cigarettes. My seven sis, years. My mom. Seven years old. When I was my, when I was thirteen, fourteen, I used to walk down. To, we, we, I grew up in a town called Bodega Bay. It's a really fucking small town, like like 300 locals, 500 max, um, and a lot of tourists, right? But my mom knew everybody who worked at the store, and so, um, I don't know what that noise is. It's crazy. It's train. Oh. Uh, train. train, sorry. Yeah. That's all right. But my mom, uh, my mom knew the cashiers, right? And so she would write a note and say, um, I need a pack of Marlboros. Can you send them home to Travis? Because I worked as a, as a, as a cashier, not a cashier, but a, a stalker at the store when I was, like, really young, like 14, 15. And, um, and then it got to be where I would start writing the notes, like, hey, I need a 40-ounce and a bottle of NyQuil. Can I fucking <laughs> send it home with Travis? Um, yeah, so my, then my mom would uh, get, like, cause she, they would just bill her. Because this store, it was so local that they would just yeah. have, like, a tab. And, like, you could walk yeah. in, like, I need milk and shit, but I don't have my wallet. Uh, you know, I'll just get it later. And um, so she, pretty soon she was finding weird center tab like uh, Nyquil fucking tablet <laughs> pills and yep. forty ounces of Mickey's. So I used to eat those fucking <laughs> I used to eat those fucking Nyquil and then drink Mickey's to try to like yeah. enhance my buzz. Oh I man, I was such a fucking rotten kid, dude. Oh, you have no idea. This is when I was like my, really young too. My sister used to pull that same shit in the car. You know, she was uh, 16, 17 years old, and you know I was nine at the time. So we'd take the car to go fucking grab ice cream, and she'd be like, "Yeah, can you run into the store real quick and uh, and ask them to, you know, buy a pack of Marlboros and just say it's for my mom out in the car, and she's got a baby in the back, and she'd have a car seat with a a doll in it that <laughs> <laughs> she'd install like that a shit block away work. from the house, it would and work. it did." I mean, dude, that was like early '90s. You know what I mean? Like that was late '80s, early '90s. So of course that shit worked. Nowadays, you know that that shit doesn't fly whatsoever. I used to you buy them with my 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 lunch money and everything, my cigarettes and stuff. And they say, "Oh, is that for your mom?" Because I'd buy the same brand. Right. The uh, it was easy. It's my, super easy when you're, especially when you're the from town. The town I uh, grew up in Ireland. Uh, 
everybody knew each other. You know, it didn't it didn't matter. So my aunt Moira would always send me down to Millie Brown's store around the corner. You just said the like, most Irish shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> my, aunt my aunt Moira, Moira sent me down to, me down to <laughs> Millie Brown's <laughs> store. That's some Irish shit right there. Dude. And she she'd just be like, "Go get me a packet of fags." <laughs> oh my god. Right? So it I would go down and get her a pack of Lucky Strike unfiltered, and because I was, you know, known around the town for making runs for my great aunt, you know, everybody knew that they were from Moira, and it didn't fucking matter. <laughs> was the clerk's name Patrick Murphy? No. Millie, oh, Millie Brown. <laughs> Millie she Brown. Born. Millie Brown. Okay. So, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting? Oh, Moynihan. No, 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 no. No, I'm all done. Go to Moynihan's store. I'm going to get me some fags. Um, I got this really <laughs> cool uh, vape band. Let me make myself big. Let's see if I can make it. make it. Right. I got a vape band. Uh, hey, this is it. actually a cool vape band. It, it says, you're not going to be able to see it, but it says Electro Fag on it. <laughs> it's actually really fucking cool. Electro Fag? Electro Fag. <laughs> but it That's spells awesome. uh, Electro A L E, like. Electrofag, like you know, like straight British enunciated. <laughs> Stop talking about Scott when he's not here. He is here. He is here. Oh, is he? <laughs> hey, Scott. <laughs> Look but at that. I, as soon as I got this, I threw it on my favorite tank, which is the uh, Conqueror, of course. And um, I have been using it nonstop. It's just awesome. Electrofag. I love Electro it. Electrofag. That's At awesome. first, I'm like, wow, like that's fucking edgy. And then I'm like, oh wait, it's from it's from England. Never mind, it's not edgy. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Now it makes. Uh, okay, so let's give away some uh, some of this fucking cotton, uh, <laughs> this Angor rabbit perm cotton. <laughs> perm cotton. It's straight perm cotton. I mean, that's there's no way around it. I mean. There you go. You're rocking that scarf. I demand yeah. some. Yeti, I will send you some. Anybody on the I, panel who wants some, just let me know. And I'll definitely send you some. I want some. That shit's <laughs> supposed to be good. You got it coming your way, Gizzard. <laughs> um, hey, tra Travis is reminding me about somebody else that we used to do live feeds with. <laughs> I will say this, though, Travis. I don't think that you know this. Okay. But on, uh, <laughs> they have that cotton on Fast Tech. I, it makes a lot of sense to me. No, but here's here's the thing. The stuff on Fast Tech straight up has Ju Bugs Bunny on the package. Wow. <laughs> that's, <laughs> wow. That's something. Uh, it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, this this is definitely, um, I mean, this is Cartoon Rabbit, which is, I mean, you know, yeah, I think that they, it's not Bugs Bunny for sure. I mean, so, they, they probably got in trouble for doing Bugs Bunny, so they switched to this other rabbit, which... I mean, we're, what we're going through with labeling on e-liquid and stuff, I think people should get away from... This is a stupid idea. I mean, it's Right. Th it's... That kind of labeling just should not be on any vape products anymore. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> if you go check it out on... Oh, really? Okay. Oh, my God. My fucking video is not working again. <laughs> okay. we're. I think we should be back online, aren't we? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Should be. Oh, yeah. Geez. We're up. It's, we're yeah, up. We're good. We're up. We're good. Okay. Well, I'm not, I don't have any video, but I'm going to try to get that going. I'm uh, Yeah. We're good. Oh. No, it's, it's just okay. not. Oh, my God. Hi, guys. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? Whoever's got that going, I'll shut it down. Sorry. Okay, well, I don't have any video, but I'm going to Boom. Go ahead and screen share that, uh, Giz. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a giveaway. I'm not even going to fuck with the camera. Uh, we're almost done with the show anyways. We only have like, like five minutes left. Um, this has been obviously not the best technically the best show ever, but um, we are going to do this giveaway. So, 
Um, there's the Ingle Revan. That's straight up Bugs Bunny. That's, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. <laughs> Let me just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pin your video. Not my video. Damn it. There you go. Yours. All right. So you can go ahead and uh, put that back up. Um, okay. So if everybody wants to go ahead and put a number between 1 and 100, I am going to do the random number generator. And we'll do this a couple times. Um, 56. In the chat, Lifa. In the chat. Uh, I'm just predicting for whoever wants to Oh, pick. okay. Oh, yeah, because you guys already get some. That's true. You guys yes. don't need to do this. No, okay. we don't. One in a hundred. Okay, I'm trying wait. to start my streak again. Okay, 38 is the number. 38. Oh, wait. I didn't give anybody fucking time to do it. We're going right. to wait. We're going to wait a minute. 38, 38 is not the fucking number. I got it! <laughs> okay. I think everybody's still going. Uh, oh, there I am! Hey. What the fuck happened? Oh, there right. you go. It caught up. It just caught up. Yeah. I mean, uh, my computer's acting all straight wonky tonight. I don't know what's going on. Sounds like it's time for a Windows update. <laughs> it, it probably oh, is, that, yeah. that, well that that's exactly what happened with mine that windows update will take about several hours to do if you uh, haven't updated it lately i update it every time i just have an automatic update so yeah so do i oh wait i want to do i don't i want to do not that i want to do gallery view there we go okay um okay so now i think everybody's had time to do this let's go ahead and uh, do it again i'm going to do it one Two, three times, uh, Tommy Vapor style. Nobody's gonna believe this. The number is actually thirty-nine. It's one number above the fucking last one. So who got it? Church thirty-seven. Church thirty-seven. Uh, well, yeah, Paul, you put in thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After it was thirty-eight. Yeah, but I, I already get it free anyway, so yeah. it's all right. Yeah, you guys don't need to worry about it. Um, so who got it? Church. 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 Yep. Go ahead and uh, send me your info, church at um. Overdose vapes at yahoo.com. That's overdose vapes, all one word, at yahoo.com. And I will get that out to you. I got a bunch of envelopes already um, already uh, addressed, pre addressed with my address. So all I got to do is fill out your address, throw it to the fucking post office, and it, pretty soon you're going to have some of this beautiful, beautiful Angle Ing Rabbit. Anger Rabbit is a pissed off rabbit. And uh, Paul, yes, I was laughing at your at your fucking little message. It was hilarious. <laughs> I haven't even thought about that guy in a long time. Man. He doesn't do he doesn't do he doesn't do any YouTube or anything anymore. I don't think. Hey, no, yeah, no, he he's all, it's all Instagram. Yeah, he still does. He's on YouTube, really, and Instagram. I just Instagram and YouTube. I have nothing to do with him, so I don't. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I, don't yeah. I don't follow him on anything. Nobody you know, does. I know. I, you know, I actually um, he did like something that I posted not that long ago. Was, I think it might have been this. The Angle Rabbit. Because I posted this on Instagram so everybody could see it. Um, it's just hilarious stuff. Okay, so we got uh, Church won a bag. So here's Church's bag. Now let's give away another one. Um, you know, this time what we're going to do is we're just going to take the four closest numbers. And we're going to give away four bags of, of cotton. I want to do it all in one uh, shot. That way we can talk about Giz and his, uh, his channel and his um, giveaway that's coming up pretty soon. Sooner than, uh, than everybody fucking um, realizes, I think it's going to be like that. And then um, also, I'll let everybody else talk. I want I want you guys to go and subscribe to Lifa. I want you guys to buy some of Yeti's coils. I want you to go subscribe to Nikki B. And Hesh doesn't need anything from you. He's just here. <laughs> He's just here for love. So give him some love. Okay, let's go ahead and do uh, between one and a hundred. Go ahead and pick a number now. I will give you guys some time. I'll kick back. I'll think of eight. On some nice anger rabbit. <laughs> You know, I never just like, you know, cotton, it just never did it for me, man. Regular, like, cotton, like, you go to, like, when you first start vaping, people will tell you shit, like, go to Rite Aid and get a bag of cotton. Life and knows. Oh. That's what people told him, too. Yep. Yep. I still have a bag of fucking cotton from Rite Aid. So, yeah, so do I. And um, it yeah. just, even the shit that's supposed to have nothing in it, it has a funny little taste to it. A little twang. Yeah. You, you hear people in the old days talk about breaking cotton in. Like, you'd have to use cotton for a while before it was vapable. Now, that's to me, that's not acceptable, you know. Um, and so that's why I like shit like cotton bacon. Uh, to me, that shit is, I put it in, I wick it, I juice it up, and I just start vaping. I don't 
blow anything off. I don't break it in. Um, so that's what's up. I like that shit a lot. I'm a huge fan of cotton bacon. I love it. I think it's the best yeah. vaping product. It's like the lightning vapes of cotton. You know what I'm saying? Except they didn't catch on fire. <laughs> That'd be a big fire, though. That'd be a big fucking fire. These guys are, uh, not these guys, these guys are Anger Rabbit, but uh, Cotton Bacon, <laughs> those guys are based in um, Idaho, and they're also uh, affiliated loosely with the Nitro Labs e-juice company, um, which makes a really good e-liquid called um, Moon Waffles, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's fucking delicious. All right. Okay, we have uh, we have some things. Oh, Scotty, you fucking dirty boy. He loves to blow things off. Of course he does. You dirty little boy. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Ninety is the number. Ninety. And you said the four closest members? The four closest. So let's dig them up. Vaping Swag got 72. Carrie M got 79. 79. So, okay. So 79 is the... Juan Castillo, one. One. One, one. And Jesse D got 71. Okay, so we got 71, 79, 81, and 72. One, two, three. That's about right. Four. Yep. Yep. Four. All right. So, vaping swag, I will send you a bag of cotton. It's like Oprah. You get a car, and you get a car, and you get some Anger Rabbit, and you get some Anger Rabbit. Um, vaping Swag's going to get some. Um, who is it? Juan. Juan Castillo is going to get some. Castillo. Castillo. How come Seven nobody nine. can get that? I don't know. <laughs> Castillo. You would think I would fucking know it, because I'm... Castillo. 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 Um, there, I put, okay. it in, I put it in the chat. Okay, good. Good. And Scott is right. I am a, a stud muffin. That's true. Castillo. Castillo. Oh, okay. I thought you. I thought you meant you put the four winners' names in there. I was like, oh, cool. No. Okay. <laughs> it's like it's like the third day in a row somebody mispronounced his name. Uh, he's a good one. He's one of the good ones. Uh, yeah. I was the one yesterday that did it. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So Carrie, Sorry. swag, one, and Jesse, Jesse D. D. Okay, so all of you guys, Jesse D, Carrie M, Vaping Swag, and Juan, <coughs> all send your guys' address to me at overdosevapes at yahoo.com. All one word, all lowercase, yahoo.com. That's an email address. It is. It's my email address. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. But Swag, uh, Swag... I think we're, I, I know we're friends on Facebook, so you can just send me a Facebook message. There we go. So I didn't fuck it up that time. A Facebook message, and I will send you guys that cotton out quick as shit. Okay, so now let's talk about something that's even more fun. Giz's channel. Hitting the 11-11 mark soon. So you want to hear my spiel? I do. Okay. Howdy, how there, friends and neighbors. Come on over to Gizzard Stew's channel. <laughs> that is a, I like it. It is a spiel. Oh, I am having a, um, a big, it's bigly, it's hugely a giveaway. Free shit. Team free so, shit. I actually imagine that most of the people out there watching tonight probably are already uh, in on it. But if you're not, um, five vendors have... Uh, pitched in on this thing, and then there's also a consolation box uh, that's provided by me, myself, and I. And uh, the vendors that have pitched in are Yeti Wire, Vaping Surprise. Swag, Surprise. Omageddon, Surprise. and Duck Pond E-Liquids, Adore E-Liquid, and Coil Vapes. So what you need to do is you need to go on over to my channel and watch the giveaway video and contained in that video will tell you what you have to do. Um, I do have a special announcement, however, and that is that, wait for it. There I am. Um, I do have a special announcement. Uh, I was waiting for it uh, so hard. The, the, uh, 
the consolation box just got a little bit better because Adore, Don from Adore specifically, has stepped forward and uh, upped the ante on that box. And because it's my 11-11 uh, giveaway, I'm trying to get to 1,111 subscribers. She has put in a 1111 mod. Oh, wow. Wow. So from nice. Vapor's Cloud, that's going to be added to the consolation box. Wow, that's so dope. So it's really not a consolation box anymore. Uh, now it's the prize I want most. Right? Um, so that's an authentic Vapor's Cloud 1111 mod in naval brass. Oh, that's so dope. So... Same rules apply. Get over to my channel. Um, watch the video, and it'll give you all the particulars of what you need to do to be able to be eligible. So I put the link in the in the uh, comments. And also, if you guys, uh, if you're watching a replay of this and you can't see the comments, um, Gizzard Stew is the only channel that I have pinned to um, the Overdose Vapes main face or main YouTube channel page. So you can see when you go there to the homepage, it'll be Gizzard Stew right there on the right. Boom. And thank you, Travis, for that. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited about this. It's uh, It's been going pretty good. Um, it's something that I wanted to do because I wanted to give back to the community. I've been doing, uh, obviously, a lot of live shows for over a year. And, uh, I am kind of an infrequent uploader as far as content on my channel. So this is a way to uh, try and put me over that uh, 1,000 mark, which I'm approaching very quickly. But I figured that 1,000 just isn't enough. So I'm going for 1111. That's such a gizzard stew number to go for. <laughs> I love 11, it. 11, 11, I love it so it much. Fun. No, I love it, man. It's, you know... Um, it's unique. It's totally giz. Um, and if you guys, um, as as it might be infrequent, the content that Giz does upload is fucking tremendous. It's it's just <laughs> yeah. hilarious, and it's it's fucking funny, and it's it's uh, most of it is very short f short form content. It's easy to digest, and it's just hilarious most of the time. So honestly, and you also it. need to get over there and watch uh, my latest video that I put up, which is the Yeti Wire promo. I need to pin that video to the top of the. It's, uh, it's on there. It's a video that I've kind of I did about six months ago, but it's pretty good and it's kind of a promotional spot for Yeti Wire, but it's been redone and uh, improved a little bit, and I threw it up yesterday. So Excellent. if you guys haven't seen that, check that out. And of course, get on over to Yeti Wire. Get yourself some coals. Some curls. Some curls. Some curls. You can do some curls with those coils. Some curls. Yeah. No, it's so dope. Um, yeah, and um, and so I, I what I take to from this is that if you hit the eleven eleven mark, besides giving away stuff, that you might be doing more stuff on the channel. Correct. Um actually uh we may have an announcement soon. Um yeah, you want to go ahead and announce it, Lifa? Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, we can announce it. Um, and this will surprise Gizzard. Speak up, Lifa. <laughs> can, can you hear me now? I can hear you. That's better. <laughs> All right. So this is going to surprise Gizzard, but, um, a week from this coming Friday. So two Fridays from now, Gizzard and I are going to have a kickoff tailgater party before the other Friday shows. And we haven't came up with the name. We don't know what the topics are going to be. We're going to we're gonna fly by the seat of our pants probably for the first couple of episodes. But it's going to be at 6.30 Central. That gives us one hour to have fun for an hour. And then we'll get ready for the other shows. Yeah, it'll be a prelude to uh, the Fresh 03 Freaky Friday show. So... We're going to uh, take that. And that's going to that, be on your channel, on the Gizzard Stew channel. It, the way we're going to work it is li Life and I are teaming it. So it'll be on our channels conversely every other week. I like it. That's cool. So, 
I like it. Anything We're pretty excited about that? I think it's gonna be dope. That's a great idea to come in a little early and just yeah. have like a little warm up before everybody else. You know, I think right. it's a great. I think it's a great idea. Fridays, Fridays are gr a great day. Um, I can watch the the beginning of that at work because where I'm at, six thirty central is like what three thirty, four thirty. 4.30 your time. Yeah, so that's fucking early to me, but I can catch it at work because that, at that time of the day is usually when I'm like saying fuck work, and so I will watch the fucking right. show instead. Big time. <laughs> Bigly. <clears throat> Bigly watch that show. You'll be able to catch the second half of the show every week. Yes. I like it. <laughs> I will catch the second half. No, um, I, might, I might even be around for that myself. Number one, you might be a guest at some time, Hash. Hey, yeah. you never know. You too, Travis. I, I would fucking love it. I will fucking skip work to do that shit. You too, Nick. <laughs> you too, Yeti. No Yeti. Me. Fuck Yeti. It makes too much sense. No Yeti. No, no. Um, I'm just fucking around. Yeah, but we put our heads together and we decided that we wanted to do something, uh, you know, to kind of uh, provide lube. I like it. I like before, it. before penetration. It's like foreplay to uh, Fresh O3's Freaky Friday show. And you guys can just have some fun and, and fucking joke around and have some fucking laughs. I like it. And I'll put this out there, too. If anybody comes up with uh, uh, what they think is a fantastic name for that show, um, either email me or Lifea. Uh, you can email me at gizzards2 at gmail.com because uh, we're brainstorming on what we want to call this show. So if anybody has a good idea, then and we select what you have chosen, then, of course, we'll give you credit. Awesome. I have to come up with a good name now. We'll put... Lube something. Something lube. No, no, All the heads I, I are better than like none. I thought it was going to be like Sporks and Fingers. He thought of about foreplay, you know, so. Sporks. Uh, I've got a few ideas <laughs> running around my head. I'm not going to put them out there just yet. Yeah, fuck you, Yeti. I love Pete Goodwin. You get a fucking bonus prize. People, go in, send me your address. You're getting some fucking cotton. <laughs> You're getting some cotton that nobody likes. You're getting some fucking <laughs> Chinese fucking hair roller cotton. Um, yeah, and you know, here's the thing. Uh, we did a review uh, one more time. I'm going to butt in before uh, before the end of the show, but uh, we did a review a long time ago of, of Cotton Bacon. And it's a really one of our most popular videos. It's got like 5,000 views. Um, it's one of our most popular videos. Um, and um, so this is a good fucking... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I can't look at Scott. chat. I can't look at chat while I'm doing this. Um, so doing this as a comparison to Cotton Bacon, I think, is a, just it's a natural progression. Um, and chat is always... I, I feel so bad for people who watch this show in the replay because chat is definitely half the fucking story in this whole show. Oh, God. I can't even look at it. Mad Dog Vapes. Uh, go to Mad Dog Vapes on Instagram for some shit. For some crazy shit. Okay, and... um, Okay. Scott is naughty. That is That is fact. Okay, naughty so Scotty. naughty Scotty. Um, why does everybody go go around and uh, tell everybody where you, they can be found? Nikki, why don't you start with you? Um, I'm vaping with Nikki B. You can find me on all social networks as vaping with Nikki B. and at vapeshack.org. And a lot of live shows. I I I'd be here all night sitting there saying how many live shows I'm on now. So you guys are great. like you guys are like the cast of the live show. Yeah, well, some of them, yeah. It's it's Quite a lot of them. it's I don't know I I just don't find time almost to do reviews anymore just because I'm popping in shows all the time because it's like oh I'm so tired. People don't realize well, people, being a grandma is being tiresome now. I don't think people realize how that these shows are like a, a time sink in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? And um, especially for people who do more than one of them, I do one a week, and to me every every Sunday it's like. Oh, the fucking live show. It's a lot of work, man. You know, um, mm -hmm. it's just because being on, you know, doing the videos is like, uh, I can edit shit out that I don't like shit that I say that's fucking retarded. I can cut out. 
Um, mm -hmm. doesn't always, it doesn't always make it through that filter, but most of the time it does, you know? Um, but on the live show, I've said some shit that really got me in trouble before. And, uh, and that can be stressful. <laughs> that can be very yeah. fucking stressful. And so these shows can be really stressful. I don't think people realize that it just seems like a bunch of people hanging out, chatting and having a good time, but, um, we got people watching and then uh, potentially hundreds of people watching in the replay. Um, and so it, I don't know, it stresses me out a lot of times, but well, once we get started. It stresses me out, the pressure of actually making sure I'm ready. I, I have no 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 people interrupting you know like tonight i had the baby come in because she had to pee you know because she's you know, dad's asleep you know i was like, oh. <laughs> I was like okay <laughs> things Grab never things never happen as as planned first off nope. Te that wasn't planned either the technical so. <laughs> shit never fucking is planned that we always run into um i i do this in my front room and so i literally have to tell everybody like you can't be in the front room you can't leave the Let's house. I, I'm sucks. the back end of like Vape With Me's show for Tuesdays before Project Fog. You know, I'm the one that pushes it. So, you know, because it usually goofs up with her, you know, lip sync, what's sync, and, you know, and they're like, she's like, are you ready? And I'm like, what? You know, I'm like, okay, here we go. You know, I'm it's, doing this. Yeah, I can't even so. imagine. I can't even imagine doing like, I can do these, I can do like guest spots occasionally. And I actually find that to be way less stressful. Because it's not my show, and so it doesn't really matter. Um, if I fucking say something stupid, it's like, hey, it's on you now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but um, I can't imagine doing a bunch of them every week. I, I thank you guys so much. Yeti does, like, fuck, when he, like, told me... A thousand. Six like, a week. I mean, that's fucking crazy. He spends more time on camera than off camera. Yeah. It's the only time I can get a break from coiling. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's a good way to look at it. That's a really good way to look at it. I like it. And I just want to say, what I'm trying to get here with this is I just want to say thank you to everybody who ever has come on this show and, and spent their time on this show. It means so fucking much to me because um, otherwise it would just be me and it would be fucking weird because I've done that before. The very first live show, if you go look it back, it's still there. The very first obese mode live is just me talking about Chinese um, uh, websites and about sleep shopping, I think was the topic that I talked about for, I don't know, it was like a half an hour. Um, and it was kind of weird, but it was fun. And, I, and that's where it started. I'm like, hey, this would be fun if I could get some more people involved in it. And um, and that's kind of what has happened, you know, for a long time. <laughs> Paul was the first, uh, Paul Gizzard, um, Yeti, these were like the first choices that I had just because these guys had been watching my show for a long time and it had been a big part of the facebook group and the facebook group is kind of like where this grew from was like hey let's take people from the facebook group and let's do a show with about like with that and uh, odv odv and it's worked it's worked in a lot of ways i think it's been really fun you know it's been an extension of the facebook group and it's been its own entity outside of the of the regular reviews which that is saying something of itself there's people who watch this show who never watched the other shows, you know, and and that's fine yeah. with me. But then we have tons of people who watch just the reviews and never watch any of the live shit. It's a whole different audience, and so that's yeah. been a really cool experience too. So, all right, so Life, why don't you tell them where they can find you? You can find me at Leaf of Vapes or Life of Vapes or L I F A Vapes, whatever you want to call me, it don't matter. Um, on YouTube, Instagram, a uh, bunch of live shows. Uh, I hang out at the Shack every once in a while. Um, just look me up, um, putting a bunch of door tutorials, how to DIY the concentrates, um, get some good feedback on that. You've been um, getting some good, some uh, good reception from those videos, then. Yeah. <clears throat> I've seen those. Yep. I've seen some good numbers and shit from those. It's fun. So. It's nice. Um, people are really appreciative of it. And, uh, like I mentioned in the videos, if anybody has any questions about manipulating the numbers or things like that, I go over. I'll try my best to keep up with the content and the comments. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm trying to hit that 500 myself. So when we get there, we're going to give a giveaway on 500. I can't believe you don't already have four times that. I'm not even bullshit, man. Um, if you guys don't know, Life is Content is amazing. It really is. I, I love his show. Um, uh, the first time I, I, I even heard about you was was on a different show. But then I went and watched all your shit. Because that's what happens like, when I find somebody new. I kind of stalk them on social media a lot of times. Just to see what I'm like, what I'm up against, right? And um, and I started watching your show, and I, and I love it. So And the, the Adore um, Concentrate videos are, are awesome. And, um, and I keep that shit coming because I think that's that's a great that's a great idea. You know? yep. You're going to see one for every 
every flavor so awesome and they're all in a nice playlist um all the elr recipe sites are or bookmarked where you can buy your bg your nicotine all that's bookmarked in the, the description so you should have no problems making it just like don does but cheaper on your side yep it's so cool that she does that for us man it's so yeah. fucking cool the concentrate route is the only way to go um honestly you know you know it, it really is the only way to go you can you can fine-tune it the way you want it man you know not that not that it needs fine-tuning but especially yeah. with a door man like uh that shit is good it's really good. Okay, um, Gizzard Stu, I think we kind of covered you already. Yeah, fine. I think I was going to say the exact yeah. same thing. Yeah. The only thing that I wanted to add was, get off your butts and vape. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Do that. <laughs> get off your vapes and butt. Get off your vapes and butt. That's a Paul, he that's a Paul Hessian original. Um, yep. How about that? Uh, go ahead. Get off, your, get off your butts and advocate. Yes. Yes. Call the calls to action in California. Yeah, man. Um, same thing. Same thing that, in Massachusetts. That stuff too. is not is not. Uh, I mean, it's already pre pre gone co conclusion, but uh, they they haven't made their final vote until Thursday. So call and harass those fuckers. Yeah. I have been I have been making calls. I have been emailing like crazy. Um, sometimes if you don't have the time to call. Man, they have forums that you can email to these people. And um, believe it or not, they might not be looking at this shit, but their staff is. And their staff is going like, hey, we're getting a lot of pushback from this flavor shit. Yep. You know what it's I mean? It's easy to bitch about it. Yes. But, you know, do your part. Yep. Take you five, ten minutes. You know, uh, send emails. Um, Jennifer Berger Coleman put up a whole list of all the emails. Yep. You know, just do it. Make up, yep. uh, make up, you know, whatever you want to say to those people, put it in one email and then copy and paste all of their email addresses into the header. Bingo. And even if you're yeah. not from San Francisco, for this specific issue, if you're not you from San Francisco, tell don't tell them that. Just, yeah. you know, just mass email these people and let them know. know exactly if you're you know some yahoo fucking email address they're not gonna they don't know where that's coming from and it's beyond that even just tell them even if you don't want to lie to them just tell them like hey this is fucking important and you know your law is going to set precedent for a lot of fucking shit that could happen a lot of other cities could say hey if san francisco can do it we can do it and uh, that's the last thing we want man and especially a really super progressive place like san francisco that you think of San Francisco as being this place of, of new ideas and of, and of, you know, shit that's kind of like on the edge and, and very cutting edge and very new in the Silicon Valley and the Bay Area. And this is just the opposite of that. And when we don't advocate for ourselves, this is what happens. Um, the reality of a flavor ban in San Francisco is lost jobs, um, lost lives and, um, and lost opportunity, um, you know, lost business opportunities. Um, yep. You know, and, and that's some, you know, sometimes that's the only way we can get, that's such a cute dog. Uh, sometimes that's the only way we can get these people's uh, uh, attention is just to like point out the financial loss from, you know, losing. In San Francisco, there's got to be what? It's a huge fucking megalopolis with fucking uh, over like a million people. So it's got to have over a hundred vape shops. I mean, it's got, I've, I've been there and I've seen so many fucking vape shops. And the reality is those go away. I mean, without flavors and e-juice, what are they going to sell? Just hardware and then no juice? Unflavored yeah. VG with, with fucking nicotine? You know, it just puts a lot of people... That. Nobody's going to buy that. Because I vape that and it's fucking gross. It is. It's <laughs> not good. <laughs> and so that's the reality is that San Francisco loses all that. And um, we don't want that, you know. We don't want that for anybody. Not for San Francisco. Not for California. Not for the the, the wider nation. Not for the world, you know. We've already that, seen what this kind of shit happens, like in uh, countries like um, Indonesia, right? Is that the one where it's the banned? Yeah, Malaysia. 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 Yeah. It's it's totally banned, and um, people have gone to jail and shit over e juice, which is it's, fucking uh, crazy. Country where it's really fucked up too is Australia. Yes. 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 Okay, in Australia, here's what you have to do. One, one last thing, and then we'll go, honestly. Um, in Australia, if you buy e-juice, you buy uh, e-juice separately, right? The juice and the bottle will be like like uh, two-thirds of the way full, 
and same then they in, in the same in England and now now it has to be and then they will give like a little sidecar of just nicotine and you mix them yourself now I don't even, I shouldn't even have to like explain why that makes it more dangerous um, if somebody doesn't know what the fuck they're doing they just dump it in there and then immediately like plunge her out some fucking liquid without shaking it up or anything and put that on their co on their cotton I mean you can make somebody sick if they're just um, vaping straight nicotine you know like 100 milligram nicotine on their cotton with VG. That's not a good fucking look, and um, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, if, if there's ways to get around these laws, then the laws don't make fucking sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we have a way to give the customer their product, but there's, like, two steps instead of just one, the law is fucking bullshit, and you should just repeal the law and make it so that it's just one product. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make sense. Well, I'll point out, too, that in Australia and Queensland, Vaping is illegal. Yep. Period. So that's a that's basically a state bigger than the state of Texas. It's huge. Yep. Queensland's you know? huge. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to yell out real quick and say, take ten minutes tomorrow, guys, and just send an email, mass email those guys that we you know that it's it's easy to bitch about it after shit happens. Yes. We yeah. all do it. You know, I even find it, I had to make myself do it as well this week because yeah. it's like, what, you know, how can I come on and tell people to do something if I'm not going to do it myself, you know? Right. Yes. So take fucking 10 minutes and email these people. I mean, there's people that have done the hard work for you. They found out all the email addresses, you know, they've even, there's places where you can get kind of a canned thing that you can send over if you're too lazy to write <clears throat> something. I actually, but, I actually used that can one uh, when I, I was mean, doing it last week. I did it all yeah. last week, so. <clears throat> but however, you know, you can put it in your own words. Be respectful. Just, you know, tell your story or, or however you want to do it. Just send out, take 10 minutes and send out an email tomorrow. An email so as simple as this is an important issue to me and one yeah. in which I will vote against you if you support it. That yeah. that alone, right yeah. there, could be enough to to sway somebody. You know, anyway, right. enough harping on it. Just, yeah. just do it. Just do it. Do You're it. right. You're right. Mass do Massachusetts it. is actually facing a uh, forty percent vapor tax right now. Tax uh, as well. They um, luckily we did have an open door to the public, and a lot of heavy hitters in Massachusetts and business owners uh, did go and speak directly. And they did shed a little bit of light saying that this bill will probably not see the uh, light of day on the on the floor itself. Uh, but it still doesn't mean that we're not fighting it, you know, uh, on a daily basis. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, last thing we need is what to happen uh, in Indiana or in <laughs> Pennsylvania, you know. Uh, or, Massachusetts or, or Utah. I mean, there's yeah. been a lot of fucked up shit happen. People can't right. buy shit online in Utah. You know, that is fucked up. <laughs> like, you know, um, people who live out in the fucking boonies with no vape shops, they have no options in Utah. So that's, nope. I mean, that's something to think about. Um, we don't want that to happen where we live. But Giz is right. Let's stop harping on it. Um, that's, it is what it is. Everybody fucking go out and email your local politicians and let them know how important this issue is to you. Because that's the only way we can make our voices heard. And uh, while you're at it, once you, uh, while you're online emailing those people, head on over to www.yetiwire.com and buy yourself some of these beautiful fucking coils at his shop. And support a good motherfucking dude, too, while you're at it. There it is right there. Boom. Get over there. Get off your butts and shop at Yeti Wire. All right. Okay, every so... Day is, every day is Black Friday. Every day is definitely Black Friday. <laughs> got the best best deal on these kind of coils. Uh, these, these artisanal, beautiful, fucking crazy fucking coils that I can never build. Um, and, made, and made by a Yeti. And made by Yeti. You have a little piece of Yeti in every one. Actually, you don't because he cleans them no, really well. well. No, no, you get a little piece of Yeti beard in every one. <laughs> he, would, he would be so disappointed with himself if there was ever a beard hair in his I, I would be. I would be very surprised yeah. considering the the amount of shit I go through to clean these things. <laughs> I don't... I would be, I would be hard-pressed to find any other coil maker go through the same steps that I go through just to clean their coils. Yep. And you know I what? Mean, it'd be awesome, but I don't know that it happens. I would say that fucking Yeti's coils 
are cleaner and and uh, come out of the the process cleaner than a lot of e-juice companies products <laughs> which is Actually, fucking scary i think they're a lot cleaner than when they are when they first start making them with clean wire because they're oh, even definitely <clears throat> fucking definitely that yeah. they're borderline sterile yeah mm -hmm. they're well, technically they they are sterile you could just throw them at a wound and it would heal the wound. <laughs> it would maybe cauterize heal it. Heal around it. <laughs> definitely. So do that. And then sue me because I have you tons of money. You could definitely cauterize a wound. You could. Mm -hmm. Put yeah, cotton. The vapors could actually sit there and cauterize your wound for you. We're oh, more savers. Dude, I have burnt myself with fucking coils and that shit would not be fun. Okay. And then we got Hessian. Um, you got anything you want to plug, Hessian? Uh, eSigBarn.com. Use coupon code BarnBrigade for 15% off. And still going on right now, VapeGirlVixens.com. Since Travis is putting up these new reviews for us, uh, use coupon code VGVNEW for 25% off of your complete Damn. order. That's huge. Colleen's killing it right now. So, a $100, um, $100 order that just saved you $25. Yep. You know, that's huge. So, and the bottles are priced at, uh, I believe, 22 bucks for a 60 mil uh, to the new 60 mil standards. Uh, the new labels came out. They're dope as hell. And uh, uh, find me on Instagram here and in the Overdose Vapes group. Awesome. Uh, I just want to say, chat, you guys are fucking amazing. And uh, I just wish that this could be part of the show. Um, I'm just going to share it real quick before we, before we end. Um, so Yeti posted it's been known that yeti wire will make wieners bigger and he said this is not a statement by yetiwire.com and then pete goodwin said i clean all my wounds with yeti wire which is <laughs> if that's not a fucking statement then i don't know what is and pete just said my wiener is twice its size thanks to yeti wire so and that is a statement by pete so fucking good so so he has actually gained a full inch <laughs> <laughs> oh god all Mom, right pete. we're out of here people how do I stop this again? YouTube? Yeah, stop streaming. E stop streaming. Okay. Masturbate. <laughs>